Hey guys, what's up? It's I can fly Jake, and today we're here in Battlefield 1, and we're going to be doing some aim testing, actually. So, um, here we're going to be showing you guys actually how to possibly improve your aim uh, here in Battlefield 1 with uh, pretty much any gun. Now, if it's a sniper rifle, that's a bit different. That's kind of a different story um, because they uh, don't they aren't affected by a constant recoil. It's a it's an aim, you know, shot. There's recoil, and then you can re-aim. Um, now, with fully automatic weapons, or yeah, fully automatic weapons, you actually do have a constant recoil that um, sometimes either goes straight up as you shoot or you know kind of to the left or right or up and to the left or right and you can actually control this with certain guns so with this gun though it's actually um, going to be a pretty much going straight up as I shoot it so uh, we'll go ahead and I'll show you for instance if you're uh, shooting at a person we'll go ahead and stand like let's say at this door um, as a good uh, point of reference aim at this wall and if we go ahead and do a constant uh, full-on round it'll look a little something like this so as you can see, if there was a guy standing right there in front of me, and I were to just unload that full 25 round clip onto him, you know, I would have missed about, oh, I don't know, 25% of the shots if I was aiming at, no, about 50% of the shots actually if I was aiming at the chest. Now, to control that a bit, we notice it went straight up. So when we try it again, we're going to want to obviously pull down slightly on the gun as you aim. So let's go ahead and give that a try. So now if we take a look, look at the bullet spread here. It's about one, two, three bricks versus one two three four five six seven i mean eight is a, there's a five brick difference in how big your spread is i mean even without that one there it's almost two bricks so and i'm sure people better than me can actually control it you know better than that i mean if it tries again so i mean that's a pretty tight spread so if you know if, if you and a guy are both shooting at the same time and you're aiming for a headshot um you know you can control it pretty well around the head and you only need to land about two or three shots so you can kill pretty quick if you have some good accuracy this even works with some of the automatic pistols as you can see here um like if we, we'll go a bit closer because this gun's really inaccurate but if we go like this let's say i mean look at that spread like that's it's all over the place with this revolver here now this gun takes about 10 years to reload but um we'll go ahead and try another gun in a minute as well just to demonstrate it with a submachine gun but for this one here let's try to tighten up the aim a bit we're gonna that one we're gonna pull down on this one a little bit okay so now like i said last time we're only with a matter of two bricks here um while over here it was a matter of four or five so even with pistols like this that fire pretty slow you can actually tighten up your shot a good amount Okay guys, and now we're back actually on a different map, but with a different gun as well, and this is a uh, LMG actually, a support class. So, and this gun's actually more accurate, but we're going to stand back a bit farther just to demonstrate, you know, if you're shooting with this gun, how you might handle it. Um, so anyways, uh, so for instance, same deal as last time, we're just going to aim at a spot, and we're just going to hold down on the trigger and see how the spread goes with these 25 shots. So, from this distance, this one's actually going to be really easy to control as well, as in, uh, once again, you know, a lot of these guns just go straight up like that, so... To improve your aim with that, simple as last time, you're just going to go ahead and aim there, and we're going to pull down as we go. So, we're going to aim at that second brick there, actually, just pull down a little bit as we go. And there we go. I actually screwed up a little bit in the, in the uh, at the beginning there, as you can see with those three shots, but after that I cleaned up, and, you know, I kept it in a spread of pretty much one brick with a couple down blow, which, I mean, if you're aiming at the head like that, the couple blow are still going to hit. So, I mean, just one more time here. So yeah, if you're uh, if you're used to just holding down the trigger and kind of pulling yourself around, I see we saw a lot of people, you know, they get into combat and uh, they think they're like, you know, they get start freaking out, so they're gonna start shooting. They're like, you know, as you shake around a little bit, no, just just take your time um, when you aim and uh, make sure just think about it a little bit when you're shooting, and you can actually keep your control. You're pretty close. Um, bullet spread, you're gonna kill people pretty quick, even with guns like this that uh, have a slower rate of fire. So as long as your aim is better than the other person. Uh, you know, you might have something going for you there. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, hopefully, I just helped you out a little bit with your aim as well. And if you have any other questions or anything else you want tips on, make sure to leave a comment about that. Drop a like if you liked it. Drop a dislike if you disliked it. And I hope to see all of you in my next video.